evening. I appreciate the audience. My name is Milena Abreu. I am in group uh, 43, so I am the last group of the judges that are on the ballot. There are eight groups of judges on the ballot, so you are actually voting for eight judges. Okay. And in each group, you can pick, you know, the candidate of your choice, but you are actually voting for eight folks for, for, for judges. And what group are you? I'm in the last one. So okay. like Nikkei said, if you reach from the bottom to the top, that would be even better. <laughs> that would be great. Um, so, and my punch number is 146. Milena Obrero, number 146. Um, I've been wanting to, you know, be a judge since I was probably about 16 years old. My uh, grandmother, I was living in New Jersey, my grandmother installed a floor in her house, a linoleum floor, if you if you know about uh, up, up, up in Jersey, you know, linoleum, like, it would crack and peel, well, and it was a Jersey? really terrible, terrible floor. Where, where in Jersey, like? Union City. Union City. Hoboken. My sister's in Hoboken now, so I'm a Jersey girl. What's New York? Oh, what's New York? Okay, I went to Mount Vernon High School. So, so anyway, that's where I'm from. So my grandmother installed this linoleum floor. It cracked and peeled. It was installed really poorly, and um, I tried in vain to get them to fix the floor, and they wouldn't fix the floor. So my father said to me, you should sue them in small claims court. And you know, small claims court are for this type of stuff, and uh, nobody really has a lawyer. And I said that I will do it, and I was 16. <laughs> so I took my grandmother to court, and we went in there, and there was 5,000 people sitting in the courtroom, and the woman was a judge, and in comes the flooring company owner with an attorney. And I said, oh my God, even if I lose this case, at least I'm going to be hurt, right? I was 16, and I was ready to go, and I said, I'm going to be hurt. And she heard me. I showed her the pictures. I gave her my little phone log of all the calls that we had tried to make, and you know, at the end of the case, I won. She made the flooring company come in and fix the floor. I didn't even want the money back. We just wanted to do the right thing, fix the floor. That's what you were contracted to do, and that's what you were supposed to do. So fast forward 30 years from my first case when I was 16. <laughs> I still want to be heard, right? I like to be heard. So I have 100 jury trials to verdict. I have 100 bench trials to verdict. I am one of only eight women in the entire county that could try the most serious of cases, that are all, those are death penalty cases. I do death penalty litigation for the most part. They are the most emotionally, spiritually, legally difficult cases that I think any attorney can try, and I've been blessed to be able to do that. I represent poor minorities charged with the death penalty. I've been a public defender for 10 years, and then I, uh, I went into my own practice and I maintained an independent contractor. Um, license with the state of Florida to be able to represent poor folks that are charged with with, with, death, with a death penalty. And that's what I do. I'm also one of your traffic hearing officers in traffic court right now in county court, which is the court that I'm seeking to be elected as a part as a uh, full-time judge. So the magistrates are sort of on this level, county court is one level up. And then you got circuit court, which is on a, on a higher level. I've been working as one of the traffic hearing officers for eight years now. And um, it's county court. It's where a lot of people you know, come that are unrepresented. So I have a lot of all of that experience. For me, starting when I was 16 up until now, and I'm 46, it's been about service, really. Uh, and that's what it is. And that's what I'd like to continue to do. So Milena Obreo, thank you, number 146. Thank you.